Um, first of all, we have to know that it will be the only two friendly games we will play in the next two years. Uh, the other games we will play will be qualifiers for World Cup, qualifiers for AFCA next year. So this is a great opportunity to uh, to call some new players. Um, certainly also looking to the future. I said it already, there are a few players in our group who will be 35, 34, 36 when the World Cup is playing in 26. So um, yes, we have to look for replacement also. And we have to see those games when for that to give uh, the opportunity to new players, younger players, to show them if they have the Bafana Bafana level. And secondly, okay, there's uh, two different types of, uh, of two different styles of opponents. Once on the other one side, you have uh, Andorra, who can uh, compare it with Namibia. So a uh, tough team, a team who will wait and, uh, and try to, to be dangerous in, uh, in, uh, in, in transition. And at the other side, you have uh, Algeria, uh, ranked fifth in the CAF ranking. So that means that you have two different styles. And it's good for the team, certainly, certainly also to play against Andorra, but certainly to play against such a good team like Algeria. They have a new coach, they will have new players, certainly also in, uh, in the selection. So it will be a good test for those new players who are with us now to prove them. And uh, therefore, this, those friendly games are important. And, and, and you have to do results if you want to keep your 10th place or maybe progress even in the ranking, in the CAF ranking. Um, <clears throat> Coach, I mean, in terms of this, the, the AFCON really brought a lot of South Africans to fall in love, like with the team, uh, the support has been good. Uh, in terms of building on that and going forward, um, what do you think needs to happen for, for Bafana and everything else to just to build on what happened at AFCON and not let that be the end? You know, it's easy. Yeah? You have first uh, <clears throat> the qualifiers for, uh, for the World Cup already in June. So uh, two yeah, maybe uh, key games because you play in Nigeria and you play against Zimbabwe at home. So... Um, yeah, you can al already make a statement there. Uh, this is first. Then you will have in, from September <clears throat> the qualifiers for Africa next year. So what <laughs> will be important too. Um, we want to be in Africa again. <clears throat> that is for sure. And maybe try to do better than we did in January and now. So, um, yeah, there are great opportunities for us to progress, to still progress and uh, to become... Yeah, one of the the good teams in Africa. It will not be easy because we are only tenth for the moment, but already tenth. So we have to to try to keep those those uh, those uh, position and even even progress in the ranking. Try to be ninth or eight because it's very important when the draws are there. You are a protected country when you are in the first ten and. The more you go up, the more you are protected. So this is something we have to keep now. It took us long to be there, and uh, it should be yeah, a little bit uh, unacceptable if we should now, after that, fall again to place 12 or 13 in, in five, six months. So, uh, yeah, it's a great challenge for, uh, for this team. But uh, I'm not afraid of it. We show, we show the Afghan what we can do. It's up to us to go. Can you just please share with us a bit details in terms of the meeting that you'd like to have with the PSL chairman? Um, uh, in terms of the motivation and what you is it that you'd like to get out of, of that meeting? And the second part is part of that. I mean, you've talked a lot in terms of not being able to meet with the coaches um, and having tried several times. And, and yeah. one of the things that, There's... why are you not going to meet the coaches where they work? Because that's I said already that I don't want to make 16 travels. And 16 times Turk to say the same story to a coach. How can you progress in your relationship if you go visiting every coach um, in private? So when he asks something or when he says something, I just can answer to him. There will be no interaction with other coaches. So what he uses that to travel 16 times to different clubs? So, therefore, I don't want to do that. 
I want them together and see that everyone uh, will tell what he has to tell. It's easy when we are together alone in the room to tell something. No, tell it when everybody is there and try to have a discussion. If there has to be a discussion. And you can progress when you discuss about some things. And this is what I wanted from the beginning when I was here. So this is something I'm, we discuss now with Mr. Koza. But there are other things also. So we have new players now that we, we have. When we see new players, we, we only can see them in Bafana, Bafana. But because the clubs will not release them when we play for Olympics. They will not release them when we play for qualifiers for Shan. But it's not always... You, um, uh, I, can I, I can't always uh, test the players with Bafana Bafana because you play qualifiers. You can't take the risk that it will not succeed. So you can, if they can play a level, uh, um, allez, level. Well, then they can show their, their skills and they have international um, uh, games. What is important for those players? And it will be more easy for me then to see, okay, Olympics, okay, Shan. Ah, this one is ready to come with Bafana Bafana. Now I have to look at it in my team. And I can do it for friendlies, but I, sorry, I can't do it in June with that team. It's impossible. So therefore, again, I hope that there is a little bit collaboration also from clubs I'm from uh, PSL, that they release the players for those games. So we can build a team. And this is important also for Bafana Bafana, but for also for, um, for uh, South African football, that South Africa is in Shan, that South Africa is in Olympics, that South Africa is on AFCON, is in World Cup. Because you see what happens now because we were third. Suddenly, everybody looks different to South Africa. So if you can be in all those tournaments, you will progress as a nation, you will progress, your football will progress. But we need a little bit collaboration for everybody. You can't do it on your, on your own. Coach, just as a follow-up, how soon are you likely to have this meeting? Is there an indication? Uh, I saw the, um, the Mr. Jordan, the president of, uh, of SAFA, uh, Saturday. On the game, and he said, "Okay, this week we will talk to to Mr. Cozy. When I don't know, we will see. But I, I really hope, I really hope that the meeting will will go on. I hope, but I I, I wait now to have a confirmation when we will see each other. Well, I don't know when. Coach, um, if the meeting that if it takes place and it doesn't have a positive outcome." for what you want to do and achieve with this national team? Is it a deal breaker for you? Can you still continue coaching Bufana if you don't get what you want? Yeah, why not? Why not? But then everybody um, has to take in account that um, if they want to uh, if, they, if they want to see progression in South African football, that is not possible. I'm really sorry. You can't always count on Bafana, Bafana. You need, you need a, a, what do you call that? Foundation. Yeah, foundation. Now, the last two years, it was us who looked for the players. It was us who tried to play us. This is not the right way to work. They have to, they have to show already before, but on international tournaments, when they go to Chan, when they go to the Olympics, this is what we want. And then you can start building up. So we need a little bit collaboration from clubs and from uh, PSL. And I hope, I hope they understand that. And that is what I want to explain. Yeah, yeah Coach, just going back beyond the yeah. this topic. Yeah. Um, just maybe, what are you then saying to the association on this? Because when it's international week, those players are available for the juniors um, to, to get a chance to run. Uh, what are you saying to the association in terms of getting the players active during this break for the good of Bafana? Yeah, but but uh, like Chen, it's not always played in a, in a FIFA week. Yeah, I mean, the in using the... Yeah, in a FIFA week, there is no problem. 
there is no problem. You can, if, if you play for Shan in the FIFA week, okay, you call the players. The teams are, are have to release their players. I think he means like friendly the, matches. Yeah, yeah but, no but under 20 or under 20 is playing now. You can get yeah, but there. this is also something, and I, I said it already in the past, they don't play enough. They don't. They just play when they're qualified. And then there is eight months, nothing, and there, there's nothing happening. And then the one who is playing minus 18, eight months later, is not anymore <laughs> minus 18. And then you have to look for other players. So there is no following up. So, yeah. Let's hope we can we can make a plan of that. But again... It's not only us, and then I think of SAFA, of the, the South African Football Federation. You need also collaboration. You need also support from other important things. And that's how the clubs, this is PSL. And if they don't support it, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kush, just to turn the attention to, to the selection now, um, especially looking at the 10 changes, one can clearly see that you are now building for the future, looking at who is not there, besides those who are not there for injuries, but also looking at who you are bringing in. Yes, it is, again, <clears throat> as I said in the beginning, it, is, it was a great opportunity to do it. And I said it already before, uh, little by little, we have to think about replacing some players, not for the near future, but thinking of 26, maybe already thinking of after next year. Um, and, and this was the opportunity to do it. You know, as you see in those players, those new players who are there, there are three, four, five players who are 22, 23 years old. Um, we have still Maseko, who is injured now, also a player of 22. Magopa, also a player of 22, 23. So we are starting and trying to have younger players in our team in, uh, in, in, in function of what will come. In the next uh, in the next months and the next in the next years, so it's a great opportunity for those players uh, to show what they can because there is no pressure. It's friendly. If we lose, okay, it should not be good because uh, again the ranking is there. But yeah, it's not a, it's not a problem. It's friendly, so they have all uh, they have a fantastic uh, situation. To show their skills, they will. We will not put pressure on them. Just play, guys, and, and show us. So I hope, I hope, we will find some players between them who could be for the next, maybe for not for June, but later, uh, on who we can count, because that should be a big step forward for the next years. Coach, was there Tim? Sorry, was there a temptation to also include some of the younger? The 19-year-olds like uh, Moffat King, Campbell, who are scoring goals, um, and how close are they? Uh, yeah, well, those who are there are there. But uh, there are still some on the list. Um, and we will look them, if you, you were talking about Moffat King of, uh, of Pirates. He's a very interesting player. He's a very young player also. So we will see if he can uh, keep his, his position in, uh, in Pirates. Okay then maybe there will become a moment that we call it. Um, but it's very good. Huh? It's, this is very good that we, that, we, that we detect those players and that we follow those players. And on the right moment, we will call them. And you can be sure of it. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. Coach, um, <clears throat> we, we saw how different the level at AFCON is. Obviously very higher than the PSL. Does that then say to our teams that they should take the Champions League a bit seriously, more like what Sundowns are doing and competing on that stage? You know, uh, players of Sundowns help us a lot with the experience they have, or they had. They played the Champions League. Uh, yeah, this is also different of PSL. So they are, they are used to play on a higher level. Um, but what they did, and what all players did, they even got one level higher than that. Because we needed to. If we shouldn't uh, succeed to do that, we never should be third. Never. So that means that they can do it. So the possibilities and the potential is there to play a higher level. And then, yeah, then we have to count on PSL. Then we have to count that, that 
maybe, maybe, and this is something I want to discuss also with, with, with coaches, maybe we have to train differently. Maybe we have to ask more from players. And again, Benny McCartney said that players have a too good life here. He said it, I didn't say it. So maybe it's true. So maybe we have to be a little bit more severe with them. Maybe we have to, to ask them more to be more professional. Not only on the pitch, also outside the pitch. So these are things we have to discuss. And, 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 and if we, we can succeed to do that, maybe, maybe uh, the battle to be champion will be harder than it is now in PSL. And I was very happy with what I saw um, last Saturday in the derby. It was really a good derby. Last year it was boring. <laughs> this year it was a good derby. It was a good game. And, and the one who won deserved it to win because they were the best team. But there was wit in the game. There was intensity in the game. There were goals. There were good football. So those, th those uh, games we have to see more. And automatically your, uh, your level will be higher. And coach, um, <clears throat> you've, you've been saying for quite a while uh, that you're obviously looking for a replacement for long-term replacement for Timbers. And what kind of qualities are you looking for in that particular position? What, what boxes should you know, that player tick? I think I think with, with and excuse me that I look at his name because <laughs> Maswangani. <laughs> um, uh, so what I saw from him, uh, and, and, and I think he can he can be the one for the future. Um, I saw him playing Wednesday, and after the game, we talked uh, with Helman and we said, mm. but then I saw him playing Saturday. He played a very good game. And this is what I want to see from him in Bafana Bahama. So when he can when he can achieve that level also with us, he can be someone of the, for the future. He can be someone that can replace Temba for the future. I don't think about him I don't think about to to, to replace Temba now. But we have to think Temba is thirty five nearly. So we will be 36, 37 in, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in 26. And you know when you're at that age, it can happen. And then we have to be ready. So let's hope that, uh, that he is the one uh, and that we have, uh, have solved that problem already for the near future. When you look at Aswangani, I mean, obviously he's already 25. Yeah. And uh, isn't that maybe a bit of a worry that, you know, for long term, for somebody who can replace it. Okay, 25. Uh, this is a guy for the next, if he's good enough for the next seven years. Huh? Uh, uh, it's not because you're 20, 32 that you are finished. So you're, you're good for the next years. You're good for 26, if he is really the guy. But I prefer that people are younger. And therefore, again, uh, is there is uh, Polis, there is uh, Mokwena. So those guys are 22, 23. So this is more future. But, but okay, 25, 26 is not, uh, not really a problem. It starts to be a problem if he should be 28, 29. That means that he is already over the 30 when we play in 26. So, but no, this is not... Uh, I think you, you, you can have a problem if you take players of 24, 25, 26. But you have to try to to, minim uh, to 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 have less players that are already now 28, 29, and 30. Coach, is that why we don't see um, Mbunjana and Mtetwa in the squad now because of that age? Not only, eh? it's not because you're a young player that I take you with Bafana Bafana. But I think that uh, Mbunjwa uh, played good games with, uh, with Amazuli. No, Bunjana from Galaxy and Mtetwa from Chiefs, they're both out and they 30, about 30. I don't know why they are, they are now coming uh, on surface. You have to ask the clubs where they come from. But maybe, and, and I told it already, there is a change in PSL. More and more uh, clubs give chances to young players. 
when I came here, I was really surprised to see so much older players in the teams. Also Sundowns. Eh? Sundown was a team with all the players. You see now, they give chances to young players. And also other teams, Stellenbosch, uh, name it, uh, uh, Pirates, they give chances to younger players. And this is a good evolution, really a good evolution. So those players, why didn't they get the chance with Chiefs and, and I don't know, with other teams? I don't know, ask them. But, but I'm very happy that they are there now. Maybe we could find them a few years earlier. And that depends of the chances they get in the clubs. And that depends also of the coach who is for the national team and is not afraid to take young players. Coach, uh, someone like uh, Kanye Samayo was not in your preliminary squad. Um, what would you say, and also he was a leading goal scorer uh, when you look at the South Africans. And is, is, is there maybe a different kind of a striker uh, that is not ideally how he's being played or how you've seen him play? You know why 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 Mayo was not uh, not in Afghan. Mayo was not in Afghan because uh, uh, he was good months ago, but he didn't progress. He needed to do that step more to be a real Bafana Bafana player, but he didn't. So therefore, he was not uh, with us in uh, on Afghan. Uh, now, okay, with all the injuries we had, I give him again a chance. So it's up to him to, to show, okay, I can, I can reach that level of Bafana Bafana. And if, if he can, okay, we have again a good striker uh, more, a young one. So that means that for the future, okay, we have a less problem. What are you expecting from him, Coach? I find that Mayo um, 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 is sometimes really out of the game. You're looking at him and you don't see him. He's there, but no action, nothing. You can't, you can't be like that as a striker, certainly not on the level we play. So I think it's, it's also maybe a mental problem for him to have that mentality of, hey, I want to show it. So again, it's a nice guy and, 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 and I liked him. Therefore, he was with us. Because there is there is potential, but he need he need to do he need to make that step. And if he don't, he will always be someone who score goals. We will never reach an international level that we want. So it's not about scoring goals; it's about the whole ninety minutes. Yeah, it's not enough. Eh? Okay, you can you can you can wait and wait and wait, and then he scores, and uh, okay, but yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is not what we want. Um, you can do that with Messi, but not not with Mayo. I'm very sorry. So uh, yeah, he has to prove more. He have to show more. He have to be in the game, and and and, and this is sometimes uh, not the case with Mayo. And when he do, does that on the international level, he don't touch a ball, and then you play with ten. Coach, um, recently you were. I mean, I know in, in, in Korea where you did commit yourself to a fan in South Africa and all that stuff, but recently there were stories that uh, you are flirting with uh, one of the clubs in Belgium and all that. Can you just put us in our confidence as to um, are you still committed to this project and, you know, uh, can you dismiss those links and that kind of thing? Are you still focused and committed to a fan of You know, I, 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 and I'm honest with that, I doubt it to go on with, with Bafana Bafana for several reasons. One of the reasons was my family. So um, I had a meeting with uh, with Mr. Jordan, the, the, the president of SAFA. I think on Sunday we played on Saturday for uh, for the third or fourth place, and on Sunday morning I had a meeting with him in the hotel, and I explained my worries and I explained my problems. So it was my family. So I think we we have a solution on that. I will never be again two months or half here in South Africa without seeing my family. Um, there was the bad relationship with, uh, with PSL. I think the solution is there now. So we will talk. That's, only, that's the only thing I asked. So um, um, there were another, other things that I, that I discussed with him. And uh, I think we had, a, we had a solution for that. So for me, um, um, the, 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 the situation was good to stay. 
with, with South Africa. So uh, I'm here and I stay here. Except, yeah, you never know what happens in football. What you say today can be the opposite tomorrow. But but there is no intention to leave to leave South Africa. Um, even there are, yeah, there are rumors. And again, there are only rumors. There is no. Uh, there was one concrete contact, but I refused it. So um, we will see. But for me, I, I think I, I I will go on if, if nothing really happens. I go on to 26. And then, Coach, how are you planning on managing the Plessy situation? Because obviously someone who's very influential for Bafana, and like you said, that he's always, he wants to play regardless of what is happening, but for, for his protection and also for the national team's good. I don't understand. I'm saying how are you planning yes. on, on handling the Plessy situation going forward? Oh, the forward Percy situation, yeah, but... And for the national team. Again, again, it was not fair what, what, what people did with Percy. Not at all. Um, you can criticize someone, but the way uh, they, 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 they attacked Percy on, on social media and, and also in the press is not fair. So uh, he was really down, really down uh, at the end of Africa. So uh, I said to him, I will call you later because I saw it. So I called him and we have a good chat on telephone. And uh, I said to him, look, it's not the moment that you come back to South Africa now. It's too fresh. Uh, if you are unlucky to play a bad game in those friendlies, <laughs> it will be worse. So stay there. Stay there that everything is going down now. And in, in four months, it will be away. And then you come back with us and you show them. And he wants to come. He said, no, I will not call you. You will not be there for the for the friendlies. I call you in June again. So that's why Percy is not there.